how we met. Um, we went out for like a drink. No, it was not. It was not a cute story. We like Don't to say we- Don't tell the grandkids that one. <laughs> I'd like to say we found love in a hopeless place. We ended up at the same party because mutual friends. I knew about Tom, but Tom did not know that <laughs> there was a setup happening. I was awful. In a state. It was awful. There was a lot of liquid courage and uh, some encouragement from our friends too. Kiss. Yeah, my friend Jeff was like, you should make out with her. The start of all great romance. And then we were just like... <laughs> at a bar. Supposed to make out with me. It was really out of character for both of us, but we didn't know each other then. About that time, I started feeling quite ill, <laughs> so I just left. Yeah, I was just totally passed out. I slept way later than normal, and so when I woke up, I had this missed text from like hours earlier. Not really later than normal though. She gets up at around 11. Oh, okay. And I got the text around 11, so. It had come in much earlier. And he had asked me if I wanted to brunch, and I was like, oh my god. I said, well, if you still haven't eaten yet, like, we could meet up somewhere. We had brunch for four hours. We were there for four hours. So then over brunch, we figured out it was really out of character for both of us to be like that. I was really worried meeting him. I was like, this, if he's like, how he was last night, like all the time, like this is never gonna work. I don't like, <laughs> not into like party boys. <laughs> so the first time Tom told me he loved me actually was um, over tacos, as one does. Evan and I had been dating for actually, probably two to three months. Her family's big in trips to Mexico and she asked if I wanted to go. I told Evan I couldn't make it. Um, however, in parallel, I planned secretly to go. So I told her sister, let's plan, I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna tell Evan I can't make it. So it was the night before and we were trying to have a date night that night, so we went out uh, for Taco Tuesday. So he was acting, he was acting really weird and like distant, he wasn't like talking to me that much. And I was like, what? Like, what's wrong? Like, do, we, do you want to be here? Like, do you even like me? And he like had been silent the whole night and he was just like... I was actually eating tacos. I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> he was like, of course I like you. I love you. <laughs> I don't know if I yelled it. You did. No. And then did we, then we both a... went awkwardly and continued to eat our tacos. <laughs> I did not return the phrase immediately. <laughs> I found out the reason he was acting so weird is because he the whole time had been planning to surprise me in Mexico. So in terms of the proposal, I had this plan to bring Evan to a gorgeous hotel uh, in Lake George and my good friend from college has a house up there. I convinced Evan that we'd be going up to his lake house. It's a lie. <laughs> He's like, all right, we just wait here, wait here for the boat. And I was like, okay, like, just wait. Like, let's go all the way down to the dock and like, we'll just wait for the boat there, so. Somehow we got into the conversation about just life in general and she wanted to make sure that proposal was in the plan for the future for us. And it was just perfect timing because she stepped away for a second to turn around and grab something from her bag. And as she turned around, I got down on one knee and was like, how about right now? I think I said yes. I don't actually remember saying yes. I just remember being really, yeah, really surprised. And at this point, she didn't know that our family was there, which there's like 10 people with cameras. I saw my dad first and I just like lost it. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it was perfect. Do you, do you like me? No, that's not right. That's not right. What's wrong? Do you want to... <laughs> I just can't look at you. What's wrong? Do you eat, like, do you even like me? Do you... That's why isn't that wrong? <laughs> Lights, camera. I know. Which one do we look at? Sure, they'll tell us. You actually look down the whole time. What? Oh, nose hair. Nose hair? Yeah, I got it. 
You looking for something to pick off my face? Don't. Is this going to be sponsored by Sony? Like the beginning of the video? Like Paramount Pictures. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> I can't jog right now. You have to, we're losing <laughs> waterfall time. You can do this. Deep breaths. Just don't look at me, look like, <laughs> look like past me, look like it's my hair. She has a great gum line. <laughs> it's aging well. It's aging well. Our family makes outstanding Mexican food. That's because we're Mexican. She takes me to Mexico every year. That's my mom. Those are the reasons you should love my mom. Ugh. The apple doesn't fall from the tree far. <laughs> you speak English good. <laughs> let's get some tacos. Let's eat. Yes, let's eat. Cut. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs>